Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video is dedicated to must-have hair care products. So if you're interested, keep watching. First up, I'm gonna start with a dry shampoo. This is the Orbe Texturizing Spray. This is an extremely expensive dry shampoo. The mist is really fine and it adds the volume to the hair without, a, uh, without leaving a white residue. So you know sometimes you spray your hair and then there is like a white dust. Uh, the Orbe Texturizing Spray does not do that. It just adds a nice volume. So what I do is I spray the roots of my hair from a distance, leave it for a few seconds and then I'll put my hand in, shows the roots and that will give some volume. The only uh, downside on this one, as I said before, is the price. But if you're willing to take the plunge and buy it, then you won't regret it. Another product I really want to talk to you about is a hair treatment by Philip Kinsley. And this is the well-known elastizer. Now this is a hair treatment that you use pre-shampooing. You dump your hair, separate it into sections, put some uh, cream on it for 15 to 20 minutes and then jump into the shower, uh, rinse it off and move on with your shampooing and conditioning. Philip Kinsley is a very well-known hair scientist and uh, this uh, hair treatment has won multiple awards and the product was actually designed for Audrey Hepburn. Back in 1974, I think Audrey Hepburn visited the uh, Philip Kinsley's clinic here in London as she was very concerned that her hair was uh, severely damaged due to overstyling. And Philip Kinsley promised that he will come back with a treatment that will help repair her damaged hair and he came along with this. When it comes to shampoo and conditioner, I've been using for the last six to eight months the OGX. What I really like about the OGX uh, products is that they are organic, so they do not contain nasty chemicals that can potentially irritate your scalp. These are sold in boots and they're not really expensive. These particular ones are the coconut milk, which I love the smell of, but I've been using others like the argan oil and sheer butter. When I get out of the shower and before I start blow drying my hair, I would always, always, always use a heat protectant. And right now I'm using the Tresemme Heat Defense. I really like the bottle. I think it's very easy to use. I just spray it on my damp hair really nice it's not sticky at all and it doesn't leave any like film or residue now once I blow dry my hair I would be left with quite a few flyaways and uh, frizzy ends I would go with the L'Oreal Elvive Extraordinary Oil and I would apply two to three pumps on my hand uh, rub it in and then I would apply it on the edges of my hair with whatever product is left on the palm of my hand I would go on my roots and try to smooth any flyaways. This oil offers heat protection as well so you can use it on damp hair or as a finishing oil after you blow you have blow dried your hair. Now if I want to do something extra with my hair, if for example I want to style it a little bit more, maybe curl it or straighten it, I would then uh, go in with a Bumble and Bumble Brigantin. This has a funny texture, it's something between a cream and a wax I would say. So I would apply a tiny amount on my hands and then um, wrap my hands and then go through the lengths of my hair. What I really like about this product is that it doesn't make your hair look sticky at all, it just makes them feel flawless and natural. That's it for me guys, these were all my must-have hair care products. Let me know in the description down below which are your favorite hair products and let me know if there is anything I should definitely try. Thank you very much for watching and see you all very soon. Bye guys!